Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and today we are actually talking about the CIA or Central Intelligence Agency here in the United States. Because the question I'm asking is, have essentially the CIA been secretly collecting data on Americans. And before you're like, well, duh, Captain Obvious, it's the CIA. We're not talking about some kind of Hollywood movie where satellites are linking up and knowing exactly what kind of coffee you ordered from Starbucks here. We have some actual evidence coming from the U.S. Senate. And I think this is actually really important to talk about. And this is coming from Bloomberg uh, from an article from about 10 hours ago or so. And here's what's going on. Senators Ron Wyden of Oregon and Martin Heinrich of New Mexico have expressed alarm in an April 13th letter of last year to Avril Haines, who's the director of the National Intelligence, and William Burns, the director of the CIA. Now, the agency said basically that the programs involved, and I quote, counterterrorism intelligence related activities that operate operated under Executive Order 12333. The CIA also announced that portions of the report on programs were being declassified according to a statement on Thursday. Now, the senators, members of the Intelligence Committee, say that the agency has, quote, conducted its own bulk program and has done so outside the statutory framework that Congress and the public believe govern this collection. Now, the letter, which was heavily redacted, did not indicate how long exactly that the surveillance has been going on, how widespread it's been, or on what forms of, or sorts of, excuse me, sorts of information were collected and from whom. Meaning, is it everybody? Is it specific Americans? What's going on here? Now, Senators Wyden and Heinrich, who asked about uh, basically the, uh, the amount of data collected and the circumstances of its storage and dissemination, said that the program or programs didn't have the oversight safeguards of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA, you may know them from their warrants, which governs tracking of people suspected of being involved in terrorism or espionage. Now, until a recent report was delivered last March... The senators said, and I quote, the nature and full extent of the CIA's collection was withheld even from the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. Now, the White House also did not respond to a request for comment from Bloomberg last night. In a two-page statement yesterday on Thursday, the CIA said it keeps uh, the intelligence panel of the Senate up to speed on its program and, I quote, all CIA officers have a solemn obligation to protect the privacy and civil liberties of Americans. Declassified reviews apparently covered the years 2015 to 2021, according to the CIA. And I quote, CIA recognizes and takes very seriously our obligation to respect the privacy and civil liberties of U.S. Port, uh, persons in the conduct of our vital national security mission and conducts our activities, including collection activities, in compliance with U.S. law, Executive Order 12333, and our Attorney General guidelines. That's according to Christy Scott, CIA's privacy and civil liberties uh, officer, speaking in an email statement. I quote again, the CIA is committed to transparency consistent with our obligation to protect intelligence sources and methods. Now, obviously, as we know, intelligence agencies around the globe, not just here in the United States, collect information, but the U.S. government has been caught before collecting bulk information. So, for example, uh, the Pentagon accidentally left open a AWS, if I recall correctly, bucket that showed them that they were scraping billions and billions and billions of records from things like social media. And with the platforms out there, like the Facebooks of the world and, and other platforms where we get together, we share, we collaborate, we with basically dump out an absolute ton of information. Obviously, some, somebody like the CIA, or rather an organization like the CIA, is going to go sifting through that intelligence looking for patterns that might lead to, let's say, a terrorist cell operating within the United States, even though the jurisdiction of the CIA is outside of U.S. borders, if you weren't familiar. So I think this is really rather interesting. Essentially, the Senate Intelligence Committee is saying that the CIA is doing bulk data collection on Americans outside of the scope or control or oversight of essentially the civilian government, which is the U.S. Senate, the House of Representatives, the executive, legislative, and judicial branches, which obviously is of deep concern. That's what you get in authoritarian states when they, they are not beholden to the people. And so that's the last thing that we would want to see here in the United States or any democracy would want to see. So there you go. That is the evidence as presented right now. Obviously, you've got at least two members of the Senate Intelligence Committee expressing deep concern over one of the largest intelligence operations in the world, which is the CIA, collecting information on U.S. citizens. That could be me. That could be you if you're a U.S. citizen or if you're outside these borders. It could probably also be you as well. That's the reach of the CIA. So 
I think this is interesting news. Uh, you know, I think this starts to reinforce a lot of those things. Again, this is not a Hollywood movie where satellites are linking up and, you know, looking at all of these kinds of things. We're just talking probably about them going through and collecting an absolute ton of information. And this could be from anywhere. This could be from social media. This could be from search histories. This could even be credit cards and statements and all of that. So if they're tracking me, they know that, you know, if I've got a Visa, Master, Discover, you know, whatever kind of card, they can say, oh, Nick's been to Target, Nick's been to this restaurant, Nick's been wherever. And they start to make those correlations to make sure that I, and obviously I'm not, are a terrorist. Then again, a terrorist would say they're not, but I'm really not. So let's Stick with that. Anyway, my point being here is that this is a very interesting situation. This is a very alarming situation, especially if you're an American, and I am waiting for more information, which, believe me, I will tell you here on this podcast slash video and probably on my Nashly Syndicated radio show as well. So this is a deep, deep problem. This is not the first time that we have caught the government in this. The, uh, obviously, this wing of the government, the intelligence agency, the CIA, is being accused of this. We'll see where this happens. But until then, the evidence points to them possibly collecting this information and not being forthcoming to civilian oversight. Again, deeply alarming. That is your news of the day. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP, where probably the CIA can data mine you. And uh, obviously follow me on YouTube as well, where the CIA can probably data mine you. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please attempt to stay private from the CIA. Take care.